Guys, come on now, just do what you're here to do. Speak up, speak up, wake up, wake up. to me. I'm going to need you to really speak up. I'm, I'm going to need you to engage with the audience here. I'm going to need you to make some eye contact, you know, be enthusiastic. I'm, come on now, I need a little help because, you know, you're my special guest and So I'm going to need you guys to really interact and help me out with this video, okay? Because I couldn't find anybody else to do it. So you guys step up to the plate, take it for the team, and, uh, you know, at the end of the video, you're going to have to let me know which bag that, at the end of the video, you're going to have to let me know which bag is your favorite. Right, Sully? Mulder. Wake up, Mulder. Mulder, wake up. Scully. Just do what you're here to do, okay? Deal? I have no idea why I asked them here today. Why, why, why? I couldn't get anybody else except Mulder and Scully, and they're obviously not into it, so we'll do our best. Why did I ask them here today? Don't ask me. I mean, look at them. You would think they were dead or something. They don't look so good, do they? I was just sitting here speaking with two of my really good friends. They usually come around this time of year and yeah, they're a little early, but they accepted my invitation to sit in on this video because for today's video, I am going to do a review what fits inside and modeling shots of my YSL envelope bag and also my YSL Lulu bag. So, these are my friends, Mulder and Scully, and at the end of the video, they are going to tell me which bag they like the best. Okay, before I get started, let's just get the elephant out of the room, okay guys? I, I can't help but notice you guys are looking a little thin. <laughs> Your clothes are a bit tattered, but most of all, you're looking really pale and ashen. Your eyes are kind of sunken in. Are you guys okay? I'm, I'm really concerned. You know, I have that nurse's eye, and <laughs> I can always tell when something's not right. But nonetheless, I'm really happy that Mulder and Scully are here today, and we're going to get started with the review and comparison on my two beautiful YSL bags. We are going to start with the newest bag, the envelope bag. Is, this is in the large size, and this happens to be my bag of the week. It's packed full, so I'm going to talk about the bag, I'm going to take everything out of it, and then we'll talk about the Lulu bag and put the items in this bag, in this bag, see which one carries the most. Just do a really good thorough review because you guys, both of these bags are absolutely fabulous. Wouldn't you two agree? Yes. And I just, I just love them. I love the fact that this one is this beautiful oxblood color. I don't really know technically what YSL calls this color, but it's a beautiful burgundy. I love the fact that it has the quilting and the chevron, so the best of both worlds. I love the fact that 
the hardware is this beautiful gold. I think it's a beautiful contrast. I also love the fact that it has these leather bits here. It's very comfortable. I can wear this bag crossbody or with a double chain or just over my shoulder. So it's a very versatile bag, but it does tend to sometimes flop over. That might be a bit of a con. Also, this bag has the back pocket. So back pockets are always a plus. All right, before we go any further, I will just set this beautiful bag aside. Would you like to hold it? What's this piece of it? Scully? Yes, it goes fabulous with your outfit. I, don't you think it goes fabulous with her outfit? Just beautiful. That's what I love about these bags because as you can see today, I am dressed in a tie-dye, you know, uh, sweatshirt and just, you know, leggings and I'm rocking this bag. Bags like this, you don't save them for special days. They pretty much, they pretty much go with just about anything. There's really no rules these days. Not for me anyway. Of course, you guys, I've never really been one to follow the rules. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna tilt the camera down just a bit so you can see the things as I take them out of this beautiful bag. As I said, this is the large size YSL envelope bag. All right, so it's my bag of the week and it has a very strong magnetic closure. And this bag is just one opening and then it has the back zipper pocket in the very back. It has the beautiful leather here. And on the inside of it is just a thick kind of um, just material and it's black. So I don't use a organizer with this bag. I don't feel like I need to protect this bag. I, I just put my things in it and my things are in pouches. Every bag, every bag should have a back pocket. What's in my bag? I have my readers with a soft case. I don't always carry them with me, but when I have room, I do. I also, on the side over here, I have my, um, I actually have my <laughs> Celine Sunnies, but they are in this Louis Vuitton soft case. And sometimes I use this other soft case that I have my readers in, but I happen to have two pair of glasses. All right. I have my six ring key holder. Never leave home without it. I have, oh, I have another mask tucked in the back. I also have my beautiful coach. This is the trio set that I have you guys and you can like hook them all together. So I took the little wristlet part off and I'm using this as a catch all. Love it. It's a great size. I also have my toiletry 15. I use it all the time. It's pretty much replaced my 19. Although I do love the 19. I do use it when I have a larger tote, but I just wanted to show you the difference here. So in this toiletry 19, I usually just put, yeah, okay, I've got some revision lip gloss, you guys. I love this stuff. It plumps up your lips. Well, it's supposed to. <laughs> I'll believe anything. What about you? Oh. Uh, I've got my Hermes lipstick. Okay, and I have more lip pencils. One, two, three, four lip pencils. So I have these two toiletry cases. I also, oh, I also have this one. And this is part of the Trio pouch set. And there's one that's larger. So I have this one with me. I have my Louis Vuitton coin purse and it has some coins in it. Don't you just love this little deal? Love it. All right, I have a hand lotion. Okay, so as a wallet, I'm using my Louis Vuitton uh, card holder. It's from the men's line, you guys. I love this so much. And then back here in the zip part, I have my YSL card case. It has my um, insurance cards and it has 
my car insurance card and my driver's license. I, I actually like to keep this separate from my other credit cards. So that's all I have in this bag. So there you go. Just a big open dark hole. I don't feel that there's a need for an organizer. It would take up too much space. You don't really have to protect the bottom because it is black and if you use pouches the way I do, then you really don't need them. So that is what is in this bag that I'm using as my bag of the week. All right, are you ready for the next bag? You wanna go with me? All right. All right, so we're back and Scully has so graciously agreed to hold my bag. Now listen, when this video is over, it's coming back to me. I mean, you can, you can hold it for now. This is the medium Lulu bag. This strap, I absolutely love because this one is in the beautiful silver. I love the way this looks. To me, it has an edgy vibe. I love this bag. I carry it a lot more in the fall and winter, although I do carry it all year round, but it tends to go really nice with a black uh, leather jacket, and I just love that vibe and boots. So it kind of has a bit of an edgy vibe. Now this bag does not have a back pocket, but, you know, a back pocket is really good. I mean, they could have very easily put one on there, but it doesn't have it. But it is a gorgeous bag. It also has the leather here that makes it so comfortable. I can wear this bag doubled up like this, which is how I normally wear it. I can wear it crossbody, and I can wear it just with one strap. I do carry it like that sometimes but I just love the black and the silver. I think this bag is so beautiful and I believe it's calf skin. It's very durable, very, very soft. And I have used this bag a lot and I've never, I mean, it just looks immaculate. It does not have feet. It has a very strong magnetic closure, just like the other one. But a major difference between this bag and the envelope bag is that you have all these dividers. Okay, don't fall asleep, Mulder. I think Mulder's a little bored. You're totally into it, right, Scully? All right, the uh, interior of the bag also is trimmed in leather like the other one, but it has just material. It has this front flat. It has this part in the middle that divides it with a zipper. Very nice. I really like that. Then it has this very roomy back part. I would say the front is roomier, but it also has a very large, very large back divider area with a zipper. This back part is actually larger than this middle part. So it's just a gorgeous bag. And let's go ahead and start putting things inside the bag. Yep, it all fits and it's not stressed. It is not stressed at all. Now it's, it's full <laughs> and if I just wanted to, I could probably put a couple more small items in there, but I would not want to do that, but it's definitely full, but it is not stressed. So, Scully, if you will. Hand it over, Scully. These bags actually hold the same amount of stuff. So that's really exciting. This bag and this bag, they're very comparable in what they hold. Obviously this bag is a more structured bag. It's not as soft. It is an open hole on the inside with that one back pocket. This one is softer, not quite as structured, but at the same time it is structured because it does have all the compartments on the inside. It does not have a back pocket. They both have beautiful chains. They both have the, the leather bits here that I just absolutely love this detail on any bag. I really appreciate that detail. So, and as far as weight goes, I actually think the envelope bag is a bit heavier, but not by much. Yeah, this one's a little more weightier, but you know, it's a very comfortable bag, very user-friendly. They both are very user-friendly bags. If it's a hassle to get into, if it's not comfortable, you're not gonna wear it. I don't care how much the bag costs, 
you're going to opt for something more comfortable. I love both of these bags, but at the end of this video, I'm going to ask Mulder and Scully to let us know. You have been paying attention, right? I know you have. They're gonna tell us which bag has the slight edge over the other. All right, <laughs> so after the review, after the modeling shots, we have a decision. Mulder and Scully have decided which bag holds the slight edge over the other. So, Scully, would you like to do the honors? YSL Lulu bag or the YSL envelope bag. Which one holds the edge over the other? And Mulder and Scully have decided that it is, drum roll please, the envelope bag. So there are a few reasons why this one has a slight edge over the Lulu bag. All right. Okay, so as I was saying, Mulder and Scully, thank you so much for all your help. I have decided that the YSL envelope bag has a slight edge, and I'll tell you why. Number one, the color. Uh, this is a color that is absolutely beautiful, yet can be used as a neutral, and most of us have so many black bags. I love black bags, but I mean, this color is stunning. And I think the hardware along with this color is just a beautiful and rather unique combination. I think it's so pretty. Um, number two, 
this bag not only has the beautiful chevron, but it also has the quilting. This bag is probably indestructible. It is a tank of a bag. It is such good quality. Also, it has that back pocket that I love, and most of us do love the back pocket. It's very, very roomy, very user-friendly. This bag is a very user-friendly bag. Very strong magnetic closure. It holds a ton of stuff. A ton of stuff and I actually like the way it fits crossbody better than the Lulu bag because number one it's flatter and it fits a little longer and I like my crossbody bags to fit a little longer or lower on my hip and this one does since I am um, trashing Louis Vuitton right now because I'm a little mad at them I will say that there are only a few things from Louis Vuitton right now that I really want I am going YSL. I mean, I, I only have two Chanel bags. I've never really been a big Chanel person. The prices are unbelievable. And could I buy them? Yes, but I don't feel comfortable spending that kind of money on a bag when I can get one like this for a fourth of the price. I mean, seriously, or a third of the price. These bags are so well made and so sturdy and just top notch quality. I mean, I couldn't ask for a better bag. I don't think a Chanel is as good as this. There's just no way, there's no way. I love YSL as a brand. I only have a few things, but in the future, I'm, I'm going YSL, guys. But a really classy, beautiful bag. There are so many to choose from, and I love the YSL college bag. I'd love to have that one. But for now, I'm really happy with the two that I have. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you enjoyed the company of my guests, Mulder and Scully. Thank you so much for being here today. You've been quite a help, and I really appreciate it. Um, do you have anything you'd like to say? <laughs> Okay. All right. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. And you guys, I always forget to say subscribe, but please subscribe, though it only takes a second to click that little bell, click the notification bell, you guys. You never know, I may have Mulder and Scully back sometime. And we have some things coming up for Halloween, you guys. I am a Halloween freak. <laughs> and I'm a Disney freak, so what does that say about me? I'm a bit of a child, but that's okay. Thank you guys so much for joining us and my special guest. And I will see you guys again next week. Bye-bye.